How do the developers and uh, the advocates of this technology get through perception issues, public opinion and public perception issues towards any technology associated with nuclear after Three Mile Island, after Chernobyl and after uh, Fukushima, especially in this part of the world where uh, public acceptance is still arguably uh, resisting uh, any move towards uh, nuclear? Yes, correct. Um, so nuclear fusion is very different than nuclear fission, the traditional um, um, power source for nuclear power plants. In nuclear fission, you have a whole bunch of nuclear material already set in your reactor. And if something goes wrong, that material sits there and can, can go unstable and can produce um, a nu nuclear waste and a nuclear accident. In nuclear fusion, that's not the case. You only used a few hundred milligrams of nuclear fuel in order um, to, pr to produce power. And you do only do, you do that once, you burn it up, and then you start the next event. So in that sense, nuclear uh, fusion is inherently safe and cannot produce a nuclear runaway event, as you, in the example that you said earlier. And in terms of uh, the, the who's driving this innovation, you say, Siegfried, that this is a great time for young researchers and students to get involved and to make a difference and to be part of this uh, nuclear fusion uh, movement and uh, innovate. Where else are we seeing the leadership? Are we seeing this in Japan? Are we seeing this in China? Are we seeing this in Europe or in, uh, or in emerging uh, markets where the need is so great for... Uh, clean energy, and what companies are uh, driving this technology forward? Mm -hmm. So, of course, big drivers are in uh, Japan, Korea, and China, as well as in North America, the United States, Canada, and of course, Europe, United Kingdom, uh, France, Germany, and so on. Those are the big drivers in our field. And we are primarily pursuing two different approaches to fusion energy. One is where you have confine the, the plasma particles, namely the heavy isotopes of hydrogen with magnetic fields. And the other one is called inertial confinement fusion, where you compress the fusion target and make it hot and dense with conditions uh, hotter and denser than the interior of the sun. And um, those two approaches have been heavily pursued at the moment, um, as I said, in the, in, primarily in these three regions of, of, of uh, our planet. And um, what is important here is that recently we had investments through the private um, sector of the order of four billion dollars, which just in last, just last year, which is a true record in in um, in the uh, private um, yeah, investment in private interest, and there's a lot of momentum that has built up because of that fact and. Um, to, that combined with a, with a positive news from the National Ignition Facility, um, we, have, we now see a, a lot of uh, young students, a lot of postdocs who want to enter the field and who want to bring fusion power to the grid.